Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to configure BGP routing protocol in Cisco Packet Tracer. BGP stands for Border Gateway Protocol. So I have already assigned IP addresses to all these routers and PCs so, so that you don't have to waste your time watching, watching me assigning IP addresses to these networking nodes so as you can see i have assigned ip 10.0.0.2 to this pc and the ip of this pc is 30.0.0.2 and this pc's ip address is 50.0.0.2 and this router is using autonomous system number 10 this router is using autonomous system number 20 and this router is using autonomous system number 30 so as you can see i have already done the ip assigning part so let's get started you also have to uh, first of all create the topology like this and assign IP addresses to all the networking interfaces and then you will configure BGP routing protocol so let's get started first of all I will configure BGP routing protocol on this PC on this router so click on the router and go to the configuration mode So to conf in order to configure uh, BGP routing protocol you have to type router BGP space and then you have to enter the autonomous system number. If we press question mark here then it is asking us to enter an autonomous system number. So I have taken a, an autonomous, uh, a random autonomous system number 10. So I will enter 10 here. Now the next command you are going to enter is the network command. So I will type network. Now you have to, as you can see, this router is directly connected to two networks. This router is connected to the network of 20 and 10. So I will enter the First of all, I will enter the network ID of this 10 network, which is 10.0.0. .0 .0. Then space, you have to enter mask. And now you have to enter the subnet mask of this network, which is 255.0.0.0 and press enter. Now, as you can see, as I have already told you, this router is directly connected to two networks. Now you have to enter the network ID of this 20 network which is 20.0.0.0 and the subnet mask is the same so press enter now you have to the next command you have to run is the neighbor command which is n-i-g-h-b-o-r now you have to enter the ip address of the next hope so the next hope is this router and uh, the IP address of this interface is 20.0.0.2 so I will enter the IP address of this FA0 slash 0 interface which is 20.0.0.2 and now I will type the keyword remote hyphen s now I will type now you have to enter the autonomous system number of this router which is 20 so i will type 20 and press enter that's it so you have configured the bgp routing protocol on this router number one now let us configure the bgp routing protocol on this router number two so go to the configuration mode now type router pgp now you have to enter autonomous system number so i have taken 20 as the autonomous system number for this router 
so i will i, I will type and i will type 20 and press enter now as you can see this router is directly connected to three networks it is connected to the network of 20 30 and 40 so we will configure these networks one by one so type the keyword network and now you have to enter the network id so i will type first of all i will configure this network so i will type 20.0.0.0 and now i have to type the keyword mask then you have to enter the subnet mask which is 255.0.0.0 press enter now you have to configure this 30 network network of this 30 uh, this network so i will type network space 30.0.0.0 mask 255.0.0.0 press enter and now i will configure this network which is 40 so i will type the network id of this network and subnet mask will remain the same press enter okay now you have to enter the neighbors of this router so this router has two neighbors this router number three and router number one so i will type neighbor nei gh dor now if we see to the left side of this router it is connected to the network of 20 and the next hope is 20 dot and the IP of the next hope is 20.0.0.1 so I will enter the IP of the next hope which is 20.0.0.1 and now the type keyword remote hyphen as and now you have to enter the autonomous system number of this router which is 10 press enter now we will configure this network also because this router has two neighbors so we have entered the command for this neighbor now we will enter the command for this router number three again as you can see this side of the router is the network is 40 and the ip of the next interface is 40.0.0.2 and the autonomous system number is 30 so i have entered 30 here now press enter now you have configured the bgb routing protocol on this on the second router now we will configure it on the last router which is this router go to the configuration mode now type router bgp now enter the autonomous system number which is 30 for this router now we will configure the network this router is connected to two networks the 14 40 network and 50 network so type network now enter the network id of this network which is 40.0.0 now space enter mask now enter this subnet mask which is 255.0.0.0 press enter now we will do the same thing for the network of 50 also subnet mask will remain the same now we will configure the neighbors so this router has only one neighbor which is this and the ip address of the next inter uh, next uh, hope is 40.0.0.1 which is the ip of this interface which is fa0 slash 1 so i will type ndi ghdor and the ip address of this interface is 40.0.1 and i will type keyword remote 
type in as and the autonomous system number of this router which is 20 press enter and that's it you know we have configured the bgp routing protocol on all these three routers now let's see if we are able to communicate with other pcs also other pcs or not so i will type the IP address of this PC which is 50.0.2 and press enter so as you can see we have we are getting response from this PC now let us try to ping this PC from this PC as you can see the IP address of this PC is 10.0.0.2 so let us type pink 10.0.0.2 and as you can see we are getting a response and now let's try to ping from this pc to this pc enter the ip address of this pc which is 50.0.2 and as you can see we are getting a response so as you can see we have successfully configured the bgb routing protocol on the all three routers and we are not getting any error so it means that we have done everything correctly this is how you can do the same you can also configure bgp routing protocol on cisco routers using the commands i have shown you in the video I will write these commands in the description of the video as well. So if, if you are watching this video then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Most of the people watch the video without subscribing to the channel. So it is a humble request please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thanks for watching this video. I will keep posting more such videos in future as well so thanks for watching this video